Now I want to talk about the emitters panel over here on the right. This is basically the meat and potatoes of Cascade. This is where you'll actually be creating your particle, uh, the look of your particle system and assembling everything. So if we go back to the content browser, you'll see this right here is an actual particle system. And when we dig into that particle system with Cascade, basically this is the entire particle system. Now the particle system is made up of emitters which are displayed over here in the emitters panel. And these emitters are stacked from left to right. So you can see I have all these emitters and I can actually click on them and select them. So clicking on this uh, icon up here where it says base for example or velocity or tips, heat, sparks, those are the actual emitters themselves. You can also click in the blank area down here to select them as well. If we click on a blank area on the furthest right over here, will end up selecting the particle system itself. So it's the equivalent of, say, selecting the particle system itself. And we'll actually see some details down here in the details panel and information parameters that we can change. Okay. And again, the way this is evaluated is from left to right. Now each one of these emitters in turn is composed of uh, several modules. And these modules are these guys that you see right here from top to bottom that are underneath these emitters. So these modules determine the behavior and the characteristics of the emitter. And then what you do is you stack several emitters together in order to create your overall particle effect. These emitters, you can these uh, modules inside the emitters, you can actually grab them. For example, I could grab this drag module and I can just click and drag it to say the bottom of the stack. So now it's under the light module if I wanted to and doing that is going to change the behavior of everything because everything's evaluated from the top to the bottom so these guys up here are evaluated first then these guys get evaluated next one after the other okay so you get to the last one I'm gonna control Z to undo that real quick so these are the modules you can delete modules you can right click on a module and hit delete you can refresh the module uh, you also have the ability to create new modules. To create new modules is pretty simple. Find an empty blank area in your emitters uh, module list. Right click and you're going to get a contextual menu. In this contextual menu we have different categories that are alphabetically organized for us. So for example if you know that you're going to be working with um, some kind of color module you can go to the color category and from here you can select all the color modules like the scale color life, initial color, color over life, that sort of thing. If you know you're going to be working with um, modules that affect the rotation of the particle system, you might want to go to the rotation category and here's all your rotational modules neatly organized for you. So if I want to add say a rotation rate to this, an initial rotation rate, I can click on that and now the new module is automatically placed at the bottom of the list. If I wanted it to be somewhere in the middle, I can click and drag it and place it in the middle. If I no longer need the module for whatever reason, I can right click and select delete module to get rid of it. Now you'll also notice that these different modules have check marks and these strange little green icons next to them. So let me show you what that means. The check mark turns the module on and off. So, for example, if I go to the base over here and I go to spawn and I check that off, it's going to check off the spawn or the spawning of the particles, which is probably what I don't want to do at this time. If I had, like, say, a color or, say, this light node over here, I can turn that off or on. This way you can quickly test out different um, looks for your particle systems. This green icon is going to bring me to the curve editor. Down here you can see we have a panel called Curve Editor. This is where your curves go. So what are curves? Curves basically control the, um, the data and the information from these different modules. So it's kind of hard to explain. You kind of have to work with particle systems before you start to get it. But let me show you the size by life. If I click on this little green icon here on this module, it's going to create a curve. Now you won't see anything here probably. That's because this curve is probably up here somewhere or down below outside the view of our graph. So I'll click on the vertical button here to fit vertically and I'll click on the horizontal, fit horizontal and what this does it frames in on our curve. So we can see that there's a curve here that's controlling 
the size of the life of these particles. So you can see that at the beginning of the life, which is over here in the far left, the particles are a size of about one. As the particle life continues to go, 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 go on toward the end of its life, the particles are going to reach a size that's about 1.5 times larger than its original size. So they're growing by 1.5 times by the end of their lifetime. If I want to go ahead and remove this curve, I can right click on it and hit remove curve. If I have a bunch of curves, for example, if I went and clicked on a whole bunch of this stuff and I've got a bunch of curves and made it difficult for me to work in, I can remove all the curves, click on yes, and clean this up. It doesn't delete the curves. It just removes them from this editing environment so that you can work on other curves. But the curves still exist inside of the modules. So let me go ahead and remove that. So that's the curve editor down here. That's pretty much going to do it for an overview of Cascade. Cascade is a pretty complicated tool, but it's a lot of fun to use and gives you a lot of power in creating your particle systems. And we'll go over uh, these things in detail in future more advanced tutorials.